Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Excel VBA to pull reports from Microsoft SQL Server. So before I begin, and I want to kind of give an overview on what we'll be doing. So here I'm already on my uh, Microsoft SQL environment. And so the goal here is to basically automate a reporting. And so here I have a blank Excel file open. And so the main objective in this video is to basically to write a VBA or automation to basically uh, put a reporting, for example, you know, for this uh, exercise, I'll be uh, putting the records or the reports from a predefined uh, views uh, from my AdventureWorks database. And this is what the data set looks like. And we'll write a T-SQL statement to basically to import the report. Right, so now let's begin. So here uh, I have a blank Excel file open. And want to, first of all, the first step is to save the file as an Excel macro enabled uh, file. So let me go to my uh, my folder. So I want to save this file under, I'm going to just choose my test folder. And here I have a folder called VBA connect to SQL Server. And I'm going to choose the file type as Excel macro enable workbook. And so let's name this file um, uh, SQL VBA reporting. Right. Okay. So now let's open the VBA window by using the shortcut Alt F11. And before I insert a new module, so I want to um, make sure that I have the the libraries that I need enable to uh, connect to SQL Server. And under the references, so let me, let me start over again. So under tools, and if we go to references, you want to look for a library reference called Microsoft Active X Data Object uh, Library Reference. And here for my uh, Office 365, so I'm using the, the latest Microsoft Office. So for, uh, for mine is going to be 6.1. And for yours, depending on the Microsoft Office that you're using, uh, the version number might be a little different. And you might see multiple different versions uh, from your library reference. And if you see multiple version, then just choose the latest one. Now click on OK. Now here we have the library reference add to our, our library. And here we can insert a new module. So here I'm going to declare my connection variable. Oops. And it's going to be, we'll be using the ADODB uh, connection. And so here I'm also going to create a variable for the uh, ADODB record set. All right. And so here I'm going to create my first uh, subroutine. And I'm going to call this uh, subroutine connect to uh, SQL Server. And we'll be using the connect to SQL Server subroutine to connect to our SQL Server environment. And here I'm going to have uh, three input parameters. So the first parameter is going to be the server name. And the second parameter is going to be the database name. So let me close, so let me finish this first. And the third parameter is going to be the SQL statement. All right. And let me rename the, the module name real quick. Oops. All right. Uh, so I'll name the module uh, to, Microsoft, to M SQL Server. All right. And I can close this window. And this one as well. Okay. Now we need to uh, create our connection string. And as well as uh, if we go into uh, extra records or reports from uh, SQL Server, then I want to have the report to uh, place on a brand new Excel worksheet. So here I'm going to create a worksheet variable. And so the, the variable, I'm going to call this variable WS reports. And here I'm going to create a, a column variable. 
And now we're going to create our, our connection string variable. So the first property value is going to be provider. And the provider is going to be SQL OLEDB and ends by the uh, semicolon. And our next uh, property is going to be the, the server name. So here I'm going to um, provide my server name variable. And next is going to be database. And lastly, uh, here is going to be this is going to be a uh, uh, trust connection. And I'm going to mainly set the uh, property value to yes. And if you are connecting to SQL Server environment with a user ID and a password, and you want to basically uh, add one more property parameter. So here, if you uh, are connecting with the username, and so you want to set the UID, that's the username, and to your username. And in this case, uh, I'm going to put a random user, user ID, so dummy user. And separate by a semicolon, and here, and for the password, you want to use the PWD, that's the property name. And here you want to insert your uh, password. And for me, since I'm not using uh, a password to connect to my SQL Server environment, so I don't need the last line. So I can just come in, uh, comment that out. All right, so now we have the connection string uh, complete. Now we can go ahead and create our connection. So to create a connection, so here uh, I'm going to set the uh, CLNN variable to new adodb.connection. And actually, let me do this. So I'm going to create a uh, private subroutine. And this uh, subroutine is going to close all my object variables. Close. So here, uh, if the record set state is uh, other than zero, then you want to go ahead and close the uh, the record set connection. And we'll do the same for the connection as well. Oops. And here I can uh, set the object to, uh, so I can basically empty the um, object variables. Right, and this will release the memory. Okay, and so let me just put that here first. So in case if I uh, forget. Oops. All right, so now let's continue. So here within the um, connection, and we need to open the connection by providing the connection string. And for the cursor location, I'm going to set that to <clears throat> AD user client. And for the record sets, so here we're going to create a new record set uh, object. So uh, set RST to new adodb dot record set, and with the uh, within the record sets available, so our RST available, and I'm going to set the active connection to uh, CLN, so that's coming from the connection available, and now we can basically provide these uh, SQL statement to extra our report. And so for so from the the active connection, and we're opening this the the connection. And here for the record set source, we want to provide the SQL statement.
and I'll form the um, RST record set object. And the RST object actually uh, hosts the record set in memory. And to retrieve the record sets from the memory, so here, let me create a new uh, worksheet and to hold the records. And first, I'm going to grab the column names. Okay. And here, so, so this base this. So this line here is going to iterate uh, the field, the column names. And here, I can basically. Uh, place the, the color names in the first row. Plus one dot value. And here is the uh, the color name. All right, so let me just run this and real quick. So let me do a debug and compile. Oops, uh, there's a typo somewhere. Oh, I see. So here I forgot the the word. Uh, all right, and let me so let me just comp compile the code again. And now this time I'm not getting any error back. Now if I uh, go back to if I just press F5 to run the, uh, actually I can't run yet because this is not an actual uh, subroutine. So we need to provide our parameter value. And to do that, so here, uh, after this uh, close object subroutine, I'm going to create a, actually let me put this on the top, that might be better. So I'm going to create a subroutine to basically run the reporting. And so, subroutine, that's fine. And let me go back to SQL Server. I'm going to first of all get my server name real quick. And here under the <coughs> for the server name variable, I'm going to assign my server name here. All right. Actually, let me do. Uh, so let me also create a database uh, variable here. Database name and as well as a SQL statement uh, variable. All right, so let me do this. Let me assign my database name. And as well as the, uh, the SQL statement. And you can write complex SQL statements as well, as long as uh, it's within its own batch. So let me go back to uh, VBA, and I'm going to basically paste the uh, SQL statement here. All right, so we have the server name, database name, and the SQL statement. So now let's call the connect to uh, SQL Server subroutine. And here we'll provide the server name, database name, and and the SQL statement. So right now the SQL statement has no place uh, in on the uh, connect to SQL Server uh, subroutine yet. So if I just run this uh, run report macro, only the the column names will get retrieved. And so if I run uh, the wrong report. Actually, it's just not it's not working. Hold on, let me try again. So let me just step to uh each line by line. Oh, I know why. Uh oh, actually it is working. Oops. All right. So here it is. And so here's uh here's uh all my columns column names from my slot 
um, sales dot sales territory statement. Okay, so everything looks pretty good so far. Now the last step is to basically paste the uh, records onto Excel worksheet. And that will be the easiest part. So here we want to paste the data from uh, cell reference A2 and from record set uh, property. Want to provide the the data from so we'll provide the data and the data is going to be uh, record set object. Oops. And that's it guys. So this is everything. Now if I go back and let me see, let me delete all the uh, extra extra worksheets. And so I'm going to uh, clear everything here. And now if I now if I run the run report macro and here is the data set from Microsoft SQL Server. Alright, so yeah guys, so this is basically everything I want to show you in this video. Um, not very complicated. I remember one I used to work at was Fargo and Salesforce and some other company. And a lot of time I will basically learn automate on all the reportings uh, using this type of method. And that basically saved me probably like, I don't know, uh, at least you know, uh, 20 hours, 30 hours uh, a week. But yeah, for this video, I want to basically show you an example and how to uh, use Excel VBA to extract records from Microsoft SQL Server providing us a T SQL statement. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment below. I'll try my best to answer all the questions that I get. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video.